Hi guys, it's Laura. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I will share with you a recipe for this lovely dish. This is something I like calling a Mediterranean pizza. The inspiration for this meal was Lamajun, which is kind of a Turkish pizza, really lovely. It's usually cooked with minced meat, onions, garlic, and I think there's also eggplant in it, chilies. It's absolutely lovely, but since I'm vegan, I would not cook it with meat. I considered trying it with vegan meat, like minced meat, but then I had an idea, why not try it with black beans? Because I absolutely love black beans, and that way I would not have to use any processed foods in this recipe, and it worked so well, and so far anyone who had it, even kids, absolutely love this. So I hope that you guys are going to like this recipe as well. So I will show you how I cook my Mediterranean pizza and if that's something you're interested in then please keep watching. The main ingredients are black beans. Next you will need onions, half a zucchini or eggplant, tomatoes, And if you like, you can also add mushrooms. Either you chop all into very small pieces with a knife or you'll use a food processor, just like I'm doing, which is very convenient. It saves a lot of time. I always chop the onions, the zucchini, the tomatoes and the mushroom first. So once the veggies are chopped, I always add the beans and pulse them a bit. I personally like them still a little bit chunky. By the way, as always, you'll find the recipe with the exact amounts down below. And please keep in mind that I made two pizzas today, so you are basically looking at the double portion of all. And here is what the prepared mix looks like. Next, I always preheat my nonstick pan and then I put the pizza mix in it and toss it for a little bit. And then I add chopped garlic. Next comes in lemon zest. And this is so wonderful. The lemon zest adds to the pizza mixture a wonderful flavor and such a lovely aroma. And then come the herbs and spices. First, freshly ground red and black pepper. Herbal salt, smoked paprika, cumin, and cinnamon. Next, I add tomato paste and a little bit of water. It is important that the mix will be nicely juicy because it goes then later in the oven on the pizza dough which will dry it a little bit, so definitely don't skip the water. And last but not least, I'm adding marjoram, oregano, thyme, rosemary and basil, which is basically a pizza herb mix. This is optional and depends on whether you like your food spicy or not. I added a little bit of chili sauce. You can skip this step or if you like it spicy, you can even add chopped fresh chili peppers. I like using store-bought pizza dough. I usually buy different brands, but one thing I always make sure of is that it's vegan. It saves a lot of time because I only have to roll out the dough on an oven pan and then put the bean pizza mixture on it, but you could of course make your own 
pizza dough from scratch if that's what you prefer. Well, and then I simply put the pizza mixture on the dough and I spread it equally. I always preheat the oven according to the instructions on the pizza dough packaging and I bake it for about 10 minutes. So this packaging says I'm supposed to preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius, which is 428 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the pizza is done, I squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it and I sprinkle freshly chopped cilantro on the top. And then my Mediterranean bean pizza is done. It tastes great both warm and cold, so it makes a great lunch or snack to go as well. I'm bringing this plate with the chopped Mediterranean pizza to my neighbors because their kids are having a little party. And the last time they were here, they had a piece of this pizza and they loved it so much. And they actually specifically asked me if I could make this pizza for them for the party. And I love them. They are such sweet boys. So, of course, how could I say no? So, um, I hope they're going to enjoy that. But I'm going to steal one piece because it's just so good. Mm. Mm. It's so lovely. The only downside for me is... As a person with braces, I will probably have cilantro everywhere behind the brackets. And Jack and I really like this so much that uh, since I knew I'm gonna make the pizza for the kids, I had to make a second one because for me it's humanly impossible to cook it for someone else and not have it later as well. So as always, the recipe is written down below. I added the macros. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below in the comments. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're going to try the pizza, you can post photos on Instagram and you can tag me. My Instagram account is linked down below. And let me know if you liked it. And that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And see you soon. Bye.